Hello, my name is Jessica M. Gutierrez Messini. This is a lesson about the powwow drum. In this part, you'll learn three different understandings of the drum and some valuable lessons from powwow drum making. Let's get started. So what do we mean by the drum? The most common meaning of the drum is the musical instrument. Sound is made by hitting the membrane, usually made of animal hide, by your hand or this drumstick, and the membrane is stretched over the top and vibrates. The drum vibrations create sound waves, which are interpreted and heard as sound when hitting the human eardrum. This is the physical meaning of the drum. The drum is not only a musical instrument, to some tribal nations like the Lakota, Dakota, and Nakota peoples, it holds great cultural and symbolic power. They believe the drum has a life of its own, which includes its own powerful spirit. Some Native American peoples describe the powwow drum as the heartbeat of their nation or the heartbeat of Mother Earth because the sounds call the spirits and peoples together. It's important to note that spirits in this context include spirits of people, animals, plants, and the earthly elements. The last meaning of the drum is specific to powwow settings. The drum may also refer to the singing group that is surrounded a around a specific drum. For example, in this photo on the right from the largest powwow in North America, there are seven drums, meaning the drum group, gathered around the powwow arena. Do you see them all? They're marked here with some gray arrows. Now each drum des designates a drum keeper, usually a man or boy who takes care of the drum during the powwow and then stores it for safekeeping when it's not in use. Some of the drum keeper's responsibilities include blessing the drum before playing, offering it gifts like tobacco and other traditional plants, and ensuring that no one approaches or plays the drum under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Additionally, nothing can be set on top of the drum and you're not supposed to reach across from it. I had the opportunity to learn about powwow hand drum making in a Native American music and dance course I assisted with at UC Davis in 2014. The instructor invited Maggie Steele, a member of the local Native American community, to come and teach us how to construct our drums from drum kits. These drum kits were purchased from a Native American owned company who gathered the raw drum making materials in a respectful way. First, we painted the wooden drum rings pictured in a stack here on the left. The drum rings were made from oak trees and we were encouraged to paint inspirational messages and our images on them. After we set them in the sun to dry for a day, we learned how to stretch and weave the elk hide tightly over the painted wooden rings. You can see in, in the picture in the middle how the elk hide is tied into one knot in the back. And after it's laid in the sun to dry, it is hardened into the shape of the drum. Some of the hides were dyed blue or red beforehand, while others kept, were kept in their natural color. I had decided to keep one of these natural looking drums. When we ended our two day drum making workshop with a collective blessing, this blessing was also led by Maggie's mother she acknowledged the oak trees, the deer, the elk, who had given their lives to our drums. Lastly, she shared with us our responsibility to take care of our new drums and honor their lives by playing them every day. Can you think of a time you made something by hand and from raw materials? Maybe you built a structure out of popsicle sticks or cooking with fresh ingredients from your garden. How much more did you appreciate your creation after making it on your own than buying it from a store? Now that same feeling 
is how I feel about my power drum and why it's so special to me today. The greatest lesson from drum making is reciprocity with the earth, plants, and animals. Reciprocity is the practice of exchanging things with others for mutual benefit. This means that both parties enjoy an advantage or gain something from the exchanging process. No one is left out. In practice, this means not taking more resources than you give back, and it's seen in the way Native American peoples create from the earth. Reflecting on my own powwow drum making experience reminds me to honor all living and non-living beings. Those woods, hides, and other natural materials are symbolic of the relationship between human beings and the environment in which we are all a part of. I hope you learned a lot about the powwow drum and its importance to native peoples. What is the biggest takeaway or your favorite part from this lesson? Do you still have more questions? What would you like to know more about? I encourage you to search for any lingering questions on Google or powells.com. Take care and have a lovely day, evening or night, whenever you happen to be watching this.